Hey folks, it's Amy from Colorado Mountain Living. Today I want to tell you about some of our projects and plans for the spring. Now that we're getting a sense that the weather's warming up, we can actually start thinking about working outside. The snow's melting away, the ground's getting soft, and so we've got some big projects to tackle. We have at least five major things we want to get done this spring. Probably, maybe even going into the summertime. But there are big projects that have to happen, and it might put some of our indoor plans on hold. I'll show you around the homestead and kind of point out the major things that we're going to be working on this year. So the most obvious plan that we need to get done is finishing our siding or even starting our siding. We had to put this project on hold this year because Come around October is when winter hit us. It was like the second week of October, we got freezing, sub-zero temperatures and precipitation, and it hasn't let up since. Last winter, the previous year, we had mild temperatures and Brian was working outside almost all winter long, working on the foundation and the septic. So we had to really put our outdoor projects on hold as soon as October came because everything really froze up. So our number one thing we want to get done, especially before June, because that is when our permit is up, is finishing our siding. So that's project number one. I'll tell you a little bit about what we're planning for siding. We are looking at a channel siding that will actually go vertical on the kitchen transition area part of the house. So we're going to have that as like vertical planks. But the rest of the house, the main portion, we're going to do like a wavy edge, hand hewn, surface for our siding. We haven't really decided whether that's going to be cedar or fir. Uh, there's a little bit of a pricing difference there, but it, this is kind of what it will look like without the chinking. So without the chinking, it kind of has more of like a um, clapboard look, but it's not going to overlap. So I think that's the look that I really prefer. I, but, you know, aside from the chinking, I think it'll have a nice, obviously a nice rustic feel, almost like a log cabin, but without the giant logs. Okay, project number two is something I already talked about in another video. It's working on our driveway and getting the mud mitigated. Uh, we've got a lot of, so there's a lot of um, melting, snow melting right now, and there's a lot of water on the driveway that's going to clear up, but that doesn't prevent our problem from recurring year after year. We've got to work on drainage on the sides of the driveway. Spring day. This is like the fifth day in the row of weather over 50 degrees. And you can see the driveway is really drying out. In fact, a lot of places on the property where it was wet is, is pretty much dry. And all of this was, you can see the old footprints, all mud. And we need to work on drainage around the house. So here's where our well is and there was a trench dug here to put in the water line and that was happening while we were experiencing freezing temperatures so the ground was we were dealing with a lot of frozen ground even when we had to backfill it we had big solid chunks of dirt and mud so you can see that there's the the sinking the depression compression of the ground around the around the foundation where the water line is so in addition to working on the driveway and kind of getting all of this a lot more drained out, I should say, um, we're also going to be working on the drainage around the house. So here's one uh, drainage pipe that um, helps to get the water down the hill there. We will be backfilling more around the foundation of the house as well, probably raising that up at least three feet to the bottom of that board down there we definitely want to have more backfill. So, that is so that's definitely a major project that Brian's going to be doing with the tractor, with the backhoe attachment. And one more giant earth moving project, working on this side of the property by building a retaining wall. So you can see how the ground slopes, you know, we've got a, gr we have a pretty substantial hill here. It looks kind of gradual on the video, but if I can stand sideways on this hill, um, there's definitely some steepness right here. And this was all excavated to add in the foundation. And so what Brian wants to do is put in a retaining wall here, all around this side of the property. 
probably all the way to this corner right here. So this is another pretty intensive project. I can show you some examples of photos of how we want to do this. This is... So here's an example of a visual. The main materials that he wants to use for building this are railroad ties and I-beams. So the I-beams to kind of hold the ties into place, but then the railroad ties are pretty rugged enough where you could stack them and get some decent height and they'll really hold back that earth, keep it from moving and sliding. So that's, you know, not exactly like this style. This is just an example of how they might go together. Um, we, you know, we might incorporate additionally some other plants or like vegetable garden. So there might be a natural gradual slope to the retaining wall as well. But just to kind of give it that initial structure, the thought was to use uh, I-beams and railroad ties. Um, maybe adding some terraced gardens, probably flower gardens at, the, at this time. I, I'm not really sure about growing vegetables unless they're pretty, pretty uh, easy. Because I do have the vegetable garden on the other side of the beehive over there. So this is definitely major project number three that Brian wants to get done is adding a retaining wall. Project number four is building a deck. So, you know, there's our first floor and we've got double doors that go to nowhere right now. So he wants to put a deck on here and wrap it around all the way to the side. That's why this giant stake is here. It's actually marking where the electric cable is buried. So when he goes to put the footings in, he'll know to kind of avoid this area right here because of buried cable line. You can see also more kind of sinking from where our electrical trench was put in. It's kind of marked by this ladder right here. Um, and the water line trench definitely has caused a little avalanche of our wood pile. We don't really need the wood pile right now, now that we've got the natural gas, so we can kind of get rid of that. And our last big project that we have to get done this spring is working on backfilling the septic more. I'm not sure if you saw our video earlier this winter when we came back from vacation, early January, our coldest temperature, zero degrees outside, we experienced a freezing of our septic system and it backed up into the house. So we have, right now you can see there's a bunch of stuff on top of it for insulation. We've got some straw bales, we've got wood and cardboard to try to give an insulating layer in addition to the snow. But it turns out our septic system just needs a lot more dirt on top of it, especially on this hillside. The exposed hillside right there needs more dirt and we need to get that a couple of feet deeper with the backfill. We, like I said, our winter season came on us so fast that we really weren't able to get everything squared away that we wanted to before the winter cold temperatures hit. And the septic is one of those things that just sort of suffered because we didn't have all the backfill that we needed before the ground fill, uh, the ground froze up. So that is another major project that has to happen so we don't have any more problems with freezing septic issues. I do have one more bonus project that has to happen this spring. I mean, it's one of those things that's gonna happen, but it's like one of those projects that nobody wants to look forward to, and that's just picking up the trash and all of just the wood and the mess and the construction debris and, oh my gosh, chimneys and pallets, and there's just a bunch of crap all around here. And we need to clean up. We need to clean up our yard because we don't want to be that pigsty neighbor, right? So we've got, you know, wood piles to move and brush. And this is definitely a big ongoing project, something that I can probably be working on the whole spring every day that's nice outside. I mean, that's going to involve, look at all this garbage over here. This is going to involve trips to the dump. It's going to involve you know, getting rid of all the scrap lumber or recycling what we can, reusing things that we can use. Um, you know, this, there's a lot we can't do right now because of the snowpack and it's hard to kind of drive the tractor around on all of this without sliding around. So we, you know, we, we've got all of that to worry about, but we definitely want to clean up the mess around here, make it a little bit more appealing to the eye. You know, getting rid of some of these eyesores, big water tanks. I mean, we've got, 
a lot of collection of things we've we've collected throughout the year that we need to organize and make things a little bit prettier around here because it sure is pretty when you don't have a lot of garbage to look at so that's also i guess that's our one of our bonus things we need to work on this spring as far as projects go that has to happen because uh you know the longer you wait the worse the job becomes so working on getting rid of all of our construction garbage is on that list as well so those are like the big projects that have to happen I mean, there's a lot of other things we want to get done. I want to do more work with the bees. I want to do more work in the garden. I would thought about doing a greenhouse. Um, Brian wanted to build a workshop out, you know, like his, an external workshop so he's not having to cut wood outside all the time. So there's, you know, there's a lot of things that we want to do, but I think some of these bigger projects are going to take a lot of time and energy, and that might take up our whole spring, maybe even going into the summer. So, you know, we work, when you're working just on weekends primarily, um, time goes by fast. Although the days are getting longer, and so we'll have more daylight hours to work outside. And, uh, you know, I'm getting more skill on the tractor. Maybe I'll be able to move some dirt as well. So we'll see. We'll see what we can get done, guys. But that's kind of like our main projects and our hopes for the spring is to really work on moving dirt around, optimizing our landscaping, and fixing the trouble areas like the septic, the driveway, and the foundation, and just finishing up the house, you know, buttoning that up with some siding, you know, and that way we'll be pretty much finished with phase one of our house build. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you have any suggestions on best ways to tackle some of these projects, leave a comment, and we look forward to reading them. Appreciate it, guys. See you next time.